So here I have some data in Excel and a chart that I've created from it as well. I would like that chart in Word. I might want to put it into PowerPoint and a similar thing can be done there as well. And what I really want to do is copy and paste it into Word, but I also want it so that when it updates in Excel, it will update in Word. I'm also going to do the option where it doesn't update as well. And it's really quite straightforward. I'm using Excel 2010 here, and I'm going to be putting it into Word 2010, but it really is very similar across all of the Excels and Words. So, and PowerPoints too. So the thing I want to do is just choose my chart. So I'm just going to click here. You'll see it's come up with a border all the way around. I don't want to click here or here. I want it here. So I'm just clicking in this space there. What I'm going to do now is choose copy, which I can do from here. I can use a shortcut key. I can right click and choose copy, which is what I'm going to do. I'm now going to go into Word, and all I have to do now is click on paste this top part of this button here, and it will pop it in. Now the beauty of this is, if I go back to Excel, and you'll see that there's some data here which has got a value of 10. If I go into Excel and change that to 20, the moment I go back to Word, you'll see it's updated to show it here. So it changes instantly. And it doesn't matter if Word is open, because when you open Word it will ask you to update, or it might just update automatically. A very important point here is to make sure that when you have your files, you keep the Excel file in the same place and the Word file in the same place, particularly the Excel one. Don't go and change the name or move it. Anyway, let's just see what happens now, what my other options are. And I can now paste it in by clicking on this button underneath this paste clipboard, where I've got that arrow, and it gives me some options. These two here allow me to paste, but without linking. So this takes the destination theme, which is the theme in Word, and this one here takes the formatting based on what it is in Excel. So these two here allow you to link, and again, you've got the destination theme and the source formatting, and the beauty is you can see what's happening, what formatting it's actually doing. But these two allow the linking. So if I was to choose this option, now what you'll see is I'm going to change the data. I'm going to make a drastic change in Excel. This time I'm going to make it 100. I come back to Word, and you'll see it's changed here, but not here. OK, so what are my other options? Because if you're using Excel 2003 and Word 2003, you don't have these buttons here. But you do have Paste Special. And for that, you can go into Edit and choose Paste Special, which is the same as clicking on Paste here and choosing Paste Special. And what you'll see is this dialog box that says Paste Link. And you've got these various options here. I usually choose this one. But the others do work as well. But this one here, I'm going to choose that. It's almost like it's made for the job. So I'm just going to choose that. And it's popped it in here. And again, because I chose Paste Link, if I change that to, say, 50, you'll see that on this occasion, you'll now see that these two have changed, but this one hasn't. So there you have it. That's how you can Paste Link and just normal paste into Word, and you can do exactly the same thing using PowerPoint.